Hi folks, it's Moz here and I'm going back in time. I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a kit that you'll probably never see Airfix release again. It is the CMP Field Artillery Tractor and this one was released back in 1978. So this interestingly has a bit of a checkered past well i mean checkered it's been banged around by a lot of manufacturers so originally released by a company called peerless max back in 1976 it was then released by a company called tomi in 1978 there was this boxing from airfix and then six years later, Italeri had it and they released it back in 1984. And in between Italeri releasing it again in 2014, it was released by a company called Testers. And that's it. But when I had a look inside this box, when I saw it, I was pleasantly surprised on how very well detailed it is for a kit that was manufactured 45 years ago. So first off, let's have a look at the box art. Now, obviously, if you've seen the, the images I've put up from the other boxings, the box art isn't uh, what I would call classic Roy Cross. Roy Cross isn't him. I think um, these were manufactured and built by a particular company and Airfix just stuck their logo on it. Logo on it. And uh, But you can see there you've got this lovely six-cylinder four-wheel drive gun towing vehicle. It's a beast, it really is a beast. It says new on it, but obviously it's new to Airfix. It's not new per se, because it's been released uh, twice before. So there's the box art for it. Let's lift them up and have a look at the side of the box. So the side of the box here, you've got it there, the Chevrolet Field Artillery Tractor, 135th scale. And uh, basically it's saying here that decals are provided for three different Canadian units. Uh, the first Canadian field artillery used on the Italian front, 1944. Then you've got the one based in England in 1944. And then you have the field artillery regiment in use in Northern Europe back in, uh, I presume, 1944. Uh, English instructions are included and French and German. So they went the full hog with this one. Um, edge of the box, if you can see there. Um, again, just a bit of box art, nothing really special. They're both on the same side. And then again, you've got uh, the uh, the name of the model. And then on the side here, it just says clearly for best results, use FX adhesive and paint numbers M1, M3, M5, M6, M21, M23, G4, G8, which is not included. And again, there's a little uh, copyright there of 1977 so let's have a look nothing on the back of the box obviously there never was there's a top opening box let's have a look inside and let's see what we get before i unbox this can i ask a favor will you please think about subscribing if you're not a subscriber and uh if you don't know how to do that just click subscribe ring that bell click all and you'll be notified when i release a new video give the video a like leave a comment down below that will ultimately help this channel grow thank you oh so there's the instructions there just want to quickly check to make sure that uh there's nothing else that i need from here no no decals in that and first off there is the the back of the vehicle there and you can see there it's got uh, raised rivets on this one it's all raised um there's a few bit of recess there, a bit of recess. No detail on the inside, obviously, because of the age. Um, but there is a number there saying it's, that's number 13, so that's piece number 13. So let's open this up. Oh, the wheels have come out, have they? So let's have a look at the wheels. And they are rubber wheels on this one. Um, generic, so there's no detail on them. So there's no make or manufacture of these, but they, they come with these rubber wheels well i'll be it looks like the box this bag is still sealed so we're gonna have to uh, open up this i'm opening up a kit it's last time it's seen fresh air is nearly 40 45 years ago wow so you're getting um one 
two, three, four, four and a half sprues here. So if I just put these out, I'm gonna try and put keep them in order because I want to put them back in the order of the of the bag. So there you go. So this is sprue D, and you've got the the, the floor pan there. So there you go. And uh, there is some detail. There is um, some sort of uh, grip pattern there, just by the uh, the steering there. Uh, you know, in the in the front there, of the cab, I should say, the cab. You know, it's some you know, it's some detail. It looks like there's a couple of foot pedals there as well, which is nice. And then it looks like you've got some side pieces there, and there you've got the rear at the back there. So that looks like wings to me, or uh, or mud flaps to go on the on the back there. You see that? So it's all raised, apart from that's a bit of recess there. But yeah, there's that sprue D. Right now, this one is sprue A or frame A. You can see that it, if we turn it around here, sorry, it does actually say um, FX Products 1976 on here. Again, you've got a lot of detail here. You so you've got like that checkerboard sort of pattern on there. You've got some more of the seats. I think that's more seats there. Steering wheel, quite a thick looking steering wheel because they were quite thick. Uh, moving on, there's some of the doors there. It's uh, it's looking pretty smart. You know, it's got a Land Rover feel to it, hasn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's got like a Landy sort of feel, but much bigger. There's the front there. You've got your, uh, your grate on the front. A uh, bit of exhaust stack there, which looks pretty nice. But yeah, you've got the doors. You've got, um, you've got the roof there, which has got a hatch, it looks like, on top. But yeah, and there's a little bit of detail there, which I presume is for the the dash. Just assuming, um, and there's some bits there. I presume that's for the engine. Just you know, just over or that spring or something. There's something there, but very minimal flash on this. Very minimal flash. But yeah, so that's frame A. Okay, now we've got frame B, and we've got the big chunk of it, which is the chassis. There, there's the chassis. Um, some detail there, and it looks like it's, so I presume it's got to be that way around because that looks like the uh, the sump to me. You've got some nice leaf springs there in the middle, some nice leaf springs. You've got a bit of a track rod there. Um, I think that is the um, part of the suspension, I believe. Uh, I can't think what it's called now. I'm terrible for naming parts. Then you've got there, you've got the uh, the diffs there. Looking pretty smart. Some detail there as well on those diffs. Um, I think that's some of the hubs there. You've got some lovely detail. So, you know, for, for the age of the kit, it's very, very finely detailed. For the age, I'm saying, for the age. Um, some more checkerboard there on that. Looks like toolboxes or fuel tanks there. But yeah, it is uh, it is looking rather sweet for a kit, this one. This one is frame C, so there's frame C there. And it looks like you've got some sort of uh, canvas roof there, but it's got some really nice um, detail. You know, there's a feel to it. It's definitely rough. And it's like where it's pinned, pinned there. Can you see that pinned the other side? That's quite nice. I'm quite impressed by that. Um, yeah, absolutely lovely. Really, really nice. Another exhaust piece there. So it must have two exhausts, I'm presuming. Uh, unfortunately, that looks like it's broken there, but that's all right because you can glue that together. There you go. It, it, the way it was packed, I think, but I think you'd be able to get away with that and uh, definitely uh, um, uh, glue that together and make it strong again. You know, it's like uh, when you break a bone, it grows back harder. <laughs> Maybe you can glue that a bit. Uh, together and make it stronger it's a shame that but there's only one piece there but as i said it's a very very old kit indeed then the final sprue is sprue e and it comes with figures it looks like you've got monty there on the left and you've got uh i'm assuming some sort of uh cowboy <laughs> you know it's america it's a uh, canadian isn't it it's canadian um well, I can't know what they're called now, those hats that Canadian soldiers wear. But yeah, and you've got a chap there. It looks like, it looks like a turban to me on the on there, which is which is brilliant. And it's got a pair of binoculars on the front. So quite detailed on this kit. And then you've got uh, your, your wheels or your hubs. 
So, you know, isn't it amazing that, you know, the, some, you know, go back over the years, some, the, these are just great and they're easy to paint. Um, no issue because you put the, you, you put the rubber wheels on anyway. But yeah, so that not not gonna be a problem there. And there's some more seating there. Um, definitely uh, looking pretty smart. And it's got some sort of roll there as well. So you've got some accessories on this kit that you can paint up to your heart's content. So yeah, it looks like some canvas bags there. Um, you know, canvas bag there, definitely, and you know some sort of straps on them. And you get a couple of um, the 303 rifles. I don't know. Yeah, there's the arms. So you can, looks like you can build two figures and you can just replace the which top body you want. So yeah, brilliant. So then we need to go into the instructions. And it's all exploded for you. So it looks like you've got some sort of um, alternator there, some pieces up there. Don't know what that is. Just trying to work out what that is there. Oh, it's transmission in it, yeah. Is that transmission? No, it's yeah. You're trying to see how that oh yeah, transmission, I guess. Yeah. I see that now, yeah. It's not, it's it's part of the transmission, looks like. Uh so there's number one, number two. You then you put your springs on, and I th I think they're are they called like um suspension blocks? And then you've got that. A protective uh, bracket that goes over the transmission there exhaust goes on again you've got more springs to go on the back and then you're putting the axles together so there's the diffs there and then you put in the, the hubs on and the wheels and that all then glues into that position there crumbs is quite a complex build this um, not a complex build but quite complex in actually trying to work it out because it's all exploded view and again you've got some more close-ups there on how this is manufactured and put together then you put in the track rods in and the tie leak, tie, tie bar, tie rods. Here you go, looks like you've got your fuel tanks there. So you've got quite a few on this one. One, one night side, one this side. Uh, then, you, then you're doing the, the, the brake disc, looks like. Put the front on and there's your, your U-boat there on the front. Excellent. And then showing you how to put the wheels together. Then they go on the on the axles, turn them over, or should I say unfold them a bit more. Step 16 is all about doing inside. So basically, so the chassis and everything's all done in one bit, and then you're putting the body together. So you've got your brake levers, your handbrake, your seats, your step, um, some more there. There's your flap there and your, your mud wing. Again, more seats to go in the back. So there's four seats in this, although there's six seats. One, two, three, four, five, six seats on this one. Cool. Then you're putting on the bonnet and then the lights, then the windscreen, and then showing you here A7, A8. So I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, it must be more wing there. So there's more wing. Then you're adding this section, which is your flaps again, and more mud wing onto the side. There's your dash on the front sticks in there. That goes onto the top of the um, chassis. So, sorry, 16 is where you put the chassis together. I get that now, yeah. Then number 20. Right, more steps here. Crumbs never end in this one. Right, step 21 is you're putting on the panels at the back and uh, your doors. Looks like an A-frame underneath. There's your spare wheel. So that's an A-frame there to put your spare wheel on. 24 is then you, so you put the top of the body now on top and then you put your glass work in where your doors are, your rear section, can't think what it's called, so I do apologise. And then you put in all this together, which I presume is the towing unit, I guess, or part of the towing unit at the back. Looks like you've got a rail to go on top. There's your canvas going on the back there, some more glass onto the front, and you're pretty much done. Sorry I'm very vague about this, I'm, I'm not quite clear on all the parts and everything to this vehicle and then you've got your different schemes there um so m3 olive green you can do an olive green version a little bit of light brown on the top the canvas top a little bit of olive drab which i'm assuming is mostly on the uh um england version you can do it as olive drab 
and M23 is all golden brown. Excellent, and there's a bit of a call out there for the, looks like the, um, the decals. So there you go. Wow, tough instructions. Uh, right, forgot to look at this. So, ah, I see that they've come with um, metal rods for the axles, which is nice. They, they have corroded slightly, but give them a bit of a sand up, they'll be fine. You'll be able to paint them anyway, I guess, in black. And then you have your glass. Um, a little bit scratched, unfortunately, but it's probably been bouncing around in that soft bag for such a long time. But yeah, but it's all one piece on the front. Two for the, uh, the doors, I think. You have two for the side doors as well. Coolio. And then here's your decals, which still have the film on. And uh, they're not too bad, actually. I think you'll get away with them. I would definitely use some micro scale de decal solution on them to um, make sure they're okay. But there's no, no light yellow in as such. And you've got a nice little choice there of uh, decals. So there you have it. Oh, quite a rare Airfix kit, I believe now. You will never see this released again by Airfix. I don't think they've got the tool in. You can buy it from a tannery, but it was last released back in 2014. So that's like nine years ago now. But yeah, if you see this for sale anywhere, give me a shout and let me know if you build it. And uh, which is, you know, as I say, it's a bit of a shame um, that they've... Uh, you know, they've only ever released this once, but as I said, it is out there in the wild. So if you do get hold of one, let me know how you get on in building it. That's it. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, ring that bell, click all, and you'll be notified when I release a new video. Any questions, any comments, leave them in the box below because I do reply. And a huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me financially. If you'd like to become a channel member like these folks on the screen are, please click join below and select which membership tier you so wish. If you've not seen my last video, click here. If you'd like to see a collection of my other videos, click here.